But as you can see, all I got here is my background images in and just a disk. You see there, just a just a regular old um, cylinder I, I pulled out with 12 sides and extruded it a little bit. So, so here we go. Here we are in our view. So we can start modeling. And I guess we can start by using, let's make this a little bigger. This side right here. We'll start right here. Let me zoom in. And zoom down. Okay, so here we go. Here we got our first little um, beginnings here with our cube. So let us get this lined up a little bit. Like that right there. Okay. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I want to select this bottom face here. So go to my polygon mode. Like so. I'm going to select this bottom face. And I'm going to hit the B key to bring a bevel. And I'm going to click it to activate it. Now as you can see, I mean, it's hard to see here. But I'm going to bevel it in. Not like that right there. And I'm going to shift click to reactivate the tool. And I'm going to bring it down about right there. And I'm going to bevel it out. As you can see when I do this, we're lining up down here. Okay, let's shift click again and bring our bevel down like this. Shift click again, bring it down to about right there. And we'll bring this bad boy in like that. And let's go ahead and continue by shift clicking to reactivate it. Let's pull it down here like this. Okay, we'll shift click again. We'll bring it down. It looks like there's a little bevel happening there like that okay so let's shift click again this time we're gonna bevel it out before we move it so we'll take it out like this to match the sides of the saber then we can shift click again and bring it straight down there we go okay now we're down this far Let's go ahead and shift click to reactivate our bevel. The bevel tool is so powerful in Modo. Shift click again, bring it down. After every movement, I'm shift clicking and reactivating this tool. And as you can see, I'm not going for any details. We can add all the buttons and stuff later. Let's go on up here. As you can see, now we're getting down to the ribbed part. So, let's shift click, let's bring in, let's bring it down, actually, let's just bevel this in, like so, then I'm going to shift click and bring it straight down because I want that edge. If I, didn't, if I didn't shift click, then I wouldn't have got that edge. Now, as you can see, we're a little off over here. I made it a little, as you can see, it matches up here, but down here, you really can't, they really don't match up. So we can, we'll fix all of this um, after we've done our base model. So let's keep it going here. Here we go. We're down here now. I want to shift click again. And I'm going to bevel him out like that, about right there. Bring it down to there. Shift click, bring it down again, shift click, bring it down again, and let's bevel it in, like so. And let me close this down a little bit so I can see better. Now, as you can see, we're right here. I'm going to shift click, and you can see my wireframe matching right along there. Shift click again. I'll bring it down to about a quarter of the way there, bevel it out. Now you can see we're staying right lined up with our ribs here, except on the right side a little bit, and we can fix all that, not a problem. I'm just continuing to shift click after every move here. Let's bring it on down to about right here. Out. 
and I'm just gonna keep going down this like so bevelin shift clicking bevelin it in shift clicking bevelin it out shift clicking one down here bevel it out actually I'm gonna bring that back up a little bit about like that shift click again then I'll bring it down and out that way it gives me that little spot in there let's bring it down to there shift click bring it on down so I'm going to continue on down through here like this one I want to shift click I want to bring this puppy down to about right there I'm going to bevel it out I'm going to shift click bring it down Like that let's shift click again and we'll bring it way all the way down here and we'll bevel it in after we bring it down so let's shift click again now we need to bring out this stock here so I'm going to bring it down like this like that shift click and as you can see here it comes okay let's go ahead and need to bevel this out by shift clicking it and beveling it out just a little bit and bringing it down like so yeah that looks good okay let's zoom out a little I'm gonna shift click and reactivate my tool this time we're gonna have to come way out with it to meet the sides there as you can see down here we're all lined up pretty good shift click let's bring this puppy down to about right there we'll shift click again this time we've got to scale it back in cause of that little lip and we'll shift click and bring it back down like that now it's time to make the tip so let's shift click it we'll bevel it in to our size is about the same size as our stick there shift click it bring it straight down shift click again bevel this out like that shift click it bring it down shift click it bring it out let's bring it down now we're going to bring it out again and we're going to bring it down and down like so and let's go ahead and get our last few bevels here we'll bevel it out to like that shift click bring her straight down shift click bevel it out again shift click and let's bring it down one last time okay I think we got our rough sketch of our lightsaber here as you can see here it is in our right view our left view now let's zoom out here and let's see what it looks like in our model view our 3d view so there we go let's get rid of these backdrop images now we have a rough lightsaber here Let me select this thing and let's honey, let's rotate it around to where the Okay. So here we go. Here's our first beginning rough sketch of our lightsaber. This is Luke Skywalker's lightsaber. Okay. Uh, next videos if we get back into this um, I'm going to we're going to add the little details and stuff like the like the on off switch the safety switch now you know of course you could add the glow and stuff to this lightsaber in, in another package of course that sticks there just for reference okay you know if we wanted to 
we could make that, I don't know, a different color just for uh, distinctive steak, you know, just so we can see that it is the blade. Okay. So there we go. I know Luke Skywalker's blade isn't green, but you, you get what I'm going for. So there's the hilt of our first lightsaber. We've got a lot of ways to go yet. we got to texture it. we got to put the little details on it. And we'll try to get to it if we can, if you guys are interested in it. If not, here you go. Here's your basic start on how to get a lightsaber. And you all can go and add all the detail you want. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.